Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, before covering some full stack clone application, I think most of uh, my viewers are waiting for uh, Uber Eats clone. I'm recording it and I will start uploading the video soon. Meanwhile, what I'm doing is I'm trying to finish a couple of my playlists like uh, Node.js different ORM. I think I have covered all different ORMs like uh, how to write the APIs with the MongoDB, with the MySQL, with the Postgres using different ORMs. Recently I have covered uh, also. Now the remaining part in this playlist is just a small part which is how to manage, how to build the APIs with the Mongoose. Mongoose is an ODM, Object uh, Data Mapper, Object Document Mapper. It is actually a tool which we use with the Node.js to write the APIs. I think whenever anyone start learning Node.js, they always start with the Mongoose or, or MongoDB because that is easy to learn. But here I'm going to cover things in the depth. I already have some couple of videos and webinar already covered. How to define the associations between different collections, how to store, how to retrieve, because that is the logical part in every ORM or ODM tool. Similarly, in Mongoose, like I have a user collection, post, comments collection. So how can I insert the data in different collections and how can I retrieve the data in different collections? How to define the associations uh, in different MongoDB collections? That is the, the, the logical part which we need to understand. REST writing CRUD operation with the single collection is very easy, which everybody already know if uh, someone is watching this playlist. So I'm going to cover a full stack clone kind of application, full stack uh, API development, where we will have multiple collections, we will define the relationships, how we are going to store the reference of one collection into another collection, and how can we populate the data from one collection, find call to the another collection, okay? So this is my plan, okay? What is the agenda of this couple of videos I'm going to cover? I will talk about the Mongoose architecture, Simple Express app with the Mongoose, okay. Here we can use, for MongoDB I'm not going to install, we can use a simple MongoDB container. And then Express app with the Mongoose relationship, okay. We are going to have multiple collections, user, post, comment, uh, student, universities, a different kind of, different kind of collections. How we can define the associations, right. Then managing the relationships with Mongoose, one to one, one to many, many to many kind of relationship. And then we will write a real world app with the express because I'm covering all the express and nest JS. Once we are done with that, what we will do is we will use a simple nest JS app and we will do the same with the nest JS app. Nest JS is a framework built on top of express, uh, which I have already, I mean, my YouTube channel is full of nest JS content. Okay. Now we will talk about building the APIs using Mongoose and nest.js app so there we can cover some real world case here this is just a simple diagram that we already aware about orms like we have already used prisma we have used uh, sqlize type orm this kind of orms we have already used then how that mongoose is a odm which is object document mapper because mongodb is a nosql database Okay, and Mongoose is just providing a layer so that we can structure a data a little bit to store the information. I mean, SQL, NoSQL is unstructured data, but obviously when we are writing a user collection, we, we want to structure the data a little bit. Okay, this is a user document, user can have an email, password, uh, address, blah, blah, some attributes. So we are giving some structure. And Mongoose, which is a object data mapper, is helping us to create a small models, okay. Mongoose will provide the objects, Mongoose model object, okay, student model object, uh, uh, comments model object, products object, and we can call dot save, dot find, find by ID like this. We created a document and then we are doing document dot save. Now the document dot save internally is calling MongoDB native methods to insert the data in the database collection. But what we are using in our Node.js app is, if we are using Mongoose, first we create a structure like a user collection. So it's a user model, student collection, student model. 
So it's kind of a same like ORM. In ORM, we are creating classes. Here we are creating a model object, and then we create the instance of the model object, and then start doing dot save, dot find, dot find by ID, dot find by ID and update, dot find by ID and delete. These kind of same utility methods which we see in any ORM ODM tool. Okay. So here this is how it is working. Through the Node.js, we are creating object uh, mapping, and through the Mongoose. We are creating the uh, models, and this Mongoose is internally using Mongo driver to interact with the Mongo DB. I mean, this is true for every library like MySQL 2 library or any library which we can use directly to interact with the database. PZ, PZ admin, and PZ is a Node.js library which you can use to connect to Postgres. MySQL client is a Node.js library to which you can use to connect to the MySQL. Similarly, there is also MongoDB NPM module which you can use directly to connect to the MongoDB. But here we are using ORMs, type ORM, SQLize, Prisma, Mongoose. With the help of those, we are giving them responsibility to talk to database and make our task easier when we wanted to query the database. Okay, so let's get started with this. We will talk about the Mongoose, what you can do with the Mongoose when you wanted to talk to a MongoDB collection, MongoDB database. So stay tuned, we, 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 will, we are going to talk about this content and I will append this video in the same playlist, like couple of videos. If you wanted to check out, there are already some videos available, which is talking about the relationships and some webinar. I wanted to give it a proper structure and most of the developers are already aware how to work with mongoose but they always get confused with the relationships one to one one to many many to many and they don't know how to insert into multiple collections how to fetch the data from the multiple collections so i'm try i'm going to help them here and make this task easier for everyone okay stay tuned thanks everyone